was thinking about some things. Video marketing in 2016 is radically different than it's ever been done before. One of the things that I'm doing is departing a little bit, well, a whole lot from the traditional video marketing schematic, which is to pull up a video, to have people go to your landing page, get on your list. What happened to put me on this path was I have done a lot of in-video selling where actually I've had people go from the video alone very quickly, sometimes one video where they will make a purchase and not just a regular purchase, not a $9 purchase, not a $10 purchase, but $200 purchase, a $500 purchase. And I was like, okay, how does that work? How can I really, really figure that out? Because if you can create the video, get the client to make a purchase in the video, which automatically they make the purchase, they're on your list because you get their email address through the checkout process. So you get the purchase faster and you get them on the list. And I've been thinking about that. And that's happened throughout the years, but I really didn't have to pay attention to that stuff because for a few years things were going through the blog, they were going through Amazon. But as I look at the video marketing process, and this is something that I struggle with because most people are not doing this. Most people are still doing the traditional video marketing funnel, which works. It works. And that's why most people are still doing it because it's no reason to do anything else. And also, a lot of people who are doing marketing, there's only a few who have a strong YouTube channel. And then some of the people that have developed a strong YouTube channel, the one person I've been following, has done it through some kind of gimmicks, not through years and years of studying YouTube, but really studying SEO, studying YouTube behavior, and they've made some great strides very quickly. But the thing is, when you grow like that, you kind of miss the year after year, how people respond. So that's the challenge, because there's not many people selling the way that I'm selling. So I'm in a situation where I got to create my own tools, my own sandbox, hence all of the testing, because right now there's some videos for my, which is another test, the Monster Mini Camp or the Monster Boot Camp. It's a video boot camp. Just one day, I'll be available, and there's going to go a series of classes throughout the day. Those videos are not going to stay on YouTube, because what I've learned is you can still keep the credit for the videos being watched, and you can make the videos private. Because I've been doing a lot of testing with that schematic because there are many videos that you put up they're only going to appeal to a handful of people and if it's just something like the boot camp which is going to happen on a certain day there's no point leaving it up forever and ever because it's not an evergreen video and I've had a lot of videos that I've done that because I did a lot of that at Christmas uh, the 11 days of Christmas they would go up they would be up for a bit and I would take them down or I would make them private that went very well and I don't know what's going to happen with Monster Video Production Bootcamp. I don't know because once again it's a test to see because it's only in video. I've only sent out one email to the list and I'm not sending out any more because I want to see what's going to happen strictly from video marketing without the email list. I gave them the list because some people see it and it's like hey how come I didn't get anything? I've gotten those kind of emails. But I think the future is really, really bright for this kind of marketing. I think it's just gonna be sane because the thing is, there is getting the right keywords and then there's, then there's writing the narrative. And what I mean by that is, as a writer, I'm familiar with the three act story. There's a lot of videos that do very well following the three act theme 
and many marketers, there's some marketers that know about it, and I think some copywriters will probably key on it quicker than anyone else, but when you look at a video, and if you do it right, because once again, something else that I do that many people don't do, I have some extremely long videos, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, 55. I think the longest one I have up is a minute and well, 60, eight, 75 minutes, an hour and 15 minutes. And no one's really doing that, but I've done it for years and I've been able to see it. And some of those videos, which are really, really long, have 50, 60, and 70% retention rate, which is just sick because that's one of the reasons I can have such a small channel and make more AdSense money than a lot of people who are three and four times my size. There's a guy who put out his numbers and my AdSense money is right along with his, but he gets three times the views per month that I do. But it's a totally different demographic. So when I'm talking about video marketing, because what a lot of people like to do is go out and look at the unicorn in the industry. The someone who's had extraordinary success, someone who's really done well, and they'll go, all right, well, that's what they're doing, and if you're not doing that, maybe you're not doing it right. And what I've learned is a lot of those guys who have created processes that work very well for them, sometimes they don't work very well for other people. And I'm not afraid to go into the shop and craft my own tools and to build my own thing. That doesn't scare me, it actually it excites me, it makes me horny. And, because the thing is, this is what I know, because I've done it before. If I hit, I hit hard, and if I hit, no one else has that information. You're talking to someone who had a market to himself for almost three years, which is unprecedented. I mean, I, I mean it was literally my market for a solid two years, other people came in, but they were so far behind by the time that they started to scale up and put out information products, the attention graft was dying. It, you know, people were just like, ah, I've been there, done that, seen that. So they came in late and that taught me the value of timing because what I'm putting together, and I'm gonna touch into this in the video production bootcamp, is if you learn how to create a sales funnel in video make a long video right have your funnel where as people go along the video because the part about writing a book you have to write a book in such a manner that it prompts the person to turn page one all the way to the end of the book if there's not enough hooks or attention magnets they're not going to read the book and they're not going to get the message well you have to do that in video and I've been looking at people create sales funnels with email, but no one's talking about creating a sales funnel with video. Where, you know, because the thing is, I have existed in this internet world without a website. I mean, right now, I've kind of, the blog up that's up is just a test. Uh, I have my training site, hustlerskungfu.com, and I'm looking at doing some other blogs, but the whole thing is, operating from a position of strength, operating from a position of knowledge, no one's doing this. Most of the people who are really good on YouTube are all about getting more views, getting more attention, building their subscriber base, where I'm about making sales first. They're about getting views, because ultimately the knowledge base, the information, the hope is, to somehow turn all of those views into money. And I can tell you, the customer out there is super savvy. And they're in the, the organic networking. So if you are doing that, and I see it with other YouTubers who are like, my AdSense money's going down. And it's a panic mode because they don't have any other way to make money with their video because the video's not constructed or put together to make money is put together to be internet famous. It's put together to court attention and the hope for sponsors and the hope for uh, AdSense. Whereas I was able to use video to make sales 
and that's something I've been working on in video sales because I question people because that's one of the reasons I've put the phone number up is okay you're just crazy to get that one-to-one -one feedback and it's been really really helpful so this is some of the stuff because when I put out the products that I do there are many people who are like man that's real expensive and really it's dirt cheap because I have made six figures doing video just doing this talking on YouTube putting together courses without the traditional sales funnels uh, the big test was last year where it was seventy thousand dollars in less than ten weeks no traditional sales funnel think about that now that's not a lot of money in the internet marketing world not at all but for me it was like whoa because I wasn't spending any money on Facebook ads I wasn't spending any money on there was no direct marketing spend none and I was like wow so if I can make this better and then spend we're talking millions man millions with an M millions so when you're looking at the information that I put out you should really start to look at it from who else is doing this who else has a YouTube channel that is positioned to sell products who else who else knows about sales formulas who else has you know years and years of sales experience who else used to go out and knock on doors and sell people stuff cold that is the training I got years and years ago that's helping me craft and format the stuff that I'm doing because I get comments and I'm if you notice I have fun with people who are a little cranky because everyone thinks that if you're doing internet stuff you should be following such and such I'm in this really good mastermind group and there's a lot of people in there who create their own methodologies you don't see this stuff all over the internet. They'll share it out and it's like, I tested this and these are the results and no, it didn't work. Or I tested this and like it worked like gangbusters, right? And that is really where the action is because if you go ahead, like one of my clients who found her own thing and you know, I did a video, zero to $5,000, people were mad because I wouldn't say what she was selling. And I'm going to tell you something. If you remain that apathetic to your success, if you remain that lazy, that desperate for someone else to do all of the heavy lifting so you can profit without no sweat, blood, pain, tears, well, my friend, your internet future is fucking bleak because this stuff changes so quick. And that's one of the importance of developing your own methodology because I've created stuff that has lasted for years. But that's one of the reasons I don't sell stuff super cheap because I have given this information away and I had people who were too mentally poor to benefit from it. And when I say mentally poor, if you can't work hard for a prolonged period of time without the expectation of immediate remuneration, you're in trouble, playboy. You're in trouble. And that's where many people are. And that's one of the reasons that I'm talking to you like this, because when you're looking at me, you should be looking at the vision. You should be looking at the future because I'm operating from where I want to be five years from now. I'm operating where I want to be 10 years from now. And many people are creating stuff even Fortune 5,000 companies do this stuff. They create stuff, products for the now with little regard to the future. You know, the future's coming, but hey, all we care about is now. And I can tell you, the way you set this stuff up now is going to be a very strong predictor of what your future is going to be because I've seen too many internet marketers go boom and bust. They would have this crazy successful run right and then it's over you never hear from them again or they go out and get a job 
and it gets really interesting because I, I don't want a job. I mean, if you gotta get a job, you gotta get a job. But I don't want a job, I don't wanna do that. Uh, my sights are on something else. But that is part of getting caught up in the now cycle, getting caught up in the shiny object sight syndrome and just not really tr trying to own anything that is significant, that is timeless, that you, you, you could just be proud of for years and years. My first book, you know, How to Make Money with Self Storage Unit Auctions, A to Z, I am proud of shit as that book because you can still get that book and use it to build a business. And I wrote the first version in 2009, revised it a few times, but I'm still proud of that because it still works. Because, you know, I'm getting back to my roots. I had to create those business practices and I had to create those methodologies. Right now, it is common to buy units and sell your stuff on Craigslist and they'll sell your stuff on eBay and or Amazon. When I was doing it, there was three people in town doing that shit. Three! It was a chick out in the south side. Um, she kind of had like two storage auction husbands, but that's a whole nother story. That was another dude out in Douglasville because he saw my stuff on Craigslist because he was at the auction. And he said, man, don't tell nobody what we're doing. So when you listen to this channel, when you look at this stuff, because some of y'all think, you know, he's just crazy. He's just arrogant. He don't know what he's talking about. And all I have to say to that is five years from now, let's see where I'm at and let's see where you are. I will bet on myself because I've done it for the last 20 years. I will bet on me. I'll put my money on me. I'll put some skin in the game. I will spend on me because I'm proven. Can you say that if you had $5,000 and you moved to a new city, could you make a go of it without a job? I could. Done it before. Could you do that? With no help, just, I could do it with Craigslist. I told the client that. Uh, based upon my experience, I can move to any metropolitan area and make a full-time living strictly from Craigslist, nothing else. Because it takes a certain level of salesmanship. And I wrote some copy for somebody and they were just like, oh my God, this is amazing. Because selling is the root of everything. I don't care, you know, and I'm just going to make a departure here. You are getting ready for a date, right? So you're a guy and you really want to impress this woman because you really like her. You are even on your fucking hair. You're like, is my hair laid right? Is, is my smell good? Too amplified? Or is it not amplified? Do I, you're, you are scrutinizing everything because you are selling. You're presenting and selling. So, you know, when I hear all this noise about I'm not trying to sell anything, when you get ready for a date, you go out and buy some new shoes, you buy a new tie, you buy, you get a haircut, you wash your car, you are selling. But because you don't want to identify this, that it's just like, you know, I'm trying to be presentable. No, your ass is selling. But see, since what you want is so valuable to you, you're willing to go through all that stuff to get the prize. And if you're a woman, same thing. If you agonize over the shade of lipstick three times, you put this on, take it off, you put this on, take it off. You do your hair, you undo it. You change, not two, not three, not four, but six times. You are fucking selling. You're not, you're selling. Because you want to be bought. You want to close the deal. That's why you got the six inch come fuck me shoes and the little tight body dress and your titties all up under your chin because you're fucking selling. Because selling makes the world go round. And that is what it takes. Now, if you can apply that energy and effort to your business, because more people put 
more effort and time in landing dick and chasing pussy than they do making money. You have a conversation about dating and relationships on Facebook, that shit can bam, bam, 50 comments, 100 comments, 200 comments. And you say, hey guys, let's talk about the formation of an LLC and how we can prepare for our legacy. You know, put some away for the kids, have some where the grandkids can be like, granddad, grandma did this, cricket. was on a roll before my iPhone just said fuck it it just said fuck it but I do believe I was here I'm a member of a few pretty good mastermind groups with people who are doing things and just today I saw this post where this guy did 1.2 million in a, a launch of an information product. Now, what I like about the group is they break stuff down. He broke it down to where he was, what he was doing, how much money he made, and his net was 300,000. 300 grand out of 1.2 million dollars. Now, for the average person, that's a lot of money. Sounds great, tastes great, right? But from someone who's had a business, you have gross revenue of 1.2 million, 300,000. That's a lot of overhead. And part of his overhead was joint ventures, Facebook advertising. I mean, they break it down, and that's what I really appreciate about it because that, now this happened in a week has happened in a week. Now the thing is, it's hard to do back-to-back -back launches like that. Usually that happens once a year, maybe four times a year, which is one of the reasons that people are going to different models. But I want you to think if you went ahead and had a business that you built over time, over time and you did two three million during the year and you brought home six seven eight hundred thousand it's not as quick nope it's not as quick I'm, not, I'm gonna give you that but it's more sustainable but you know so being a member of these groups and looking at this stuff I learned so much because a lot of people that you know of are in this group and I look at some of the questions and many of these folks are great at what they do. They've learned a lot. But one thing that is missing is real world experience. When I say, I should say physical world experience because an online sales funnel is a sales funnel. But a lot of these guys have never had to deal with face-to-face -face meetings. It, it's just amazing how we're kind of coming full circle with this thing. Kind of going back to what I was talking about with doing something different, creating something a little odd. Because like I said, I've studied this for two years. There's no one doing this. Now, once again, like I said earlier, if you go ahead and you ask somebody about their video marketing, ask about native and organic video marketing with no ad push. Ask about that. Because when you're putting this stuff together, when you're creating, because like I said earlier, it's the future. This is the future, and it's just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Online marketing, e-commerce, all this other stuff. But for in video marketing, the ability to tell a story, the ability to create native content, the ability to craft a content marketing plan is not going to be just good to have. It's going to be a necessity because many people are tuning out traditional advertising. This is why video marketing is so powerful because, like I said, I've done it 
accidentally then I started to do it with intention and now I'm learning even more because when you take these risk and they are risk they're definitely risk the rewards are so much higher than when you are out there just doing what you're doing because all right let's go back to the 1.3 million and then the, the strategy behind that because what people online are doing are getting larger list I mean people are building 20,000 people list 40,000 people list 100,000 people list in a matter of weeks or just a few months now they're spending a lot of money to do this because the, what's the old term the money's in the list and it works I'm not even gonna say it works and it works well the issue that I have is how long it's gonna work because let's go back to my first book making money A to Z with self storage and auctions that book still has principles and strategies that are still effective six years later that is what I'm really working on building because once again going back to the group and all the launches and stuff people get burned out uh, I see people move to something else I see people drop out and we're just getting really back to face-to-face -to -face selling it's really interesting how that is working because I remember being in the group and someone was talking about they needed a salesperson to sell a, you know, they needed someone to instruct this person how to sell a $50,000 product. And it was just boom, boom. And I was just like, well, they had all these requirements. They were looking for uh, a surefire hitter, a proven hitter. And I said, why don't you just, you know, purportedly they were making a lot of money. I said, why don't you go out and buy a $50,000 product and reverse engineer the sales process? Because very few people are going to just, oh, I'm on the internet. Oh, $50,000 product. I like that. No, no, no. Number one, most credit card, most merchant accounts are not going to let you pay that much in one transaction. Number two, that's usually going to be a check or a bank transfer. So, there, and it's number three, it's going to take a few conversations. Anytime that I close someone on a six to 20,000 deal, I'm going to talk to them three, four, five times. That's just how it is. And you see that. And that's when I was in the group and I started to see certain things. You know, many people gamed Google. They did really well with Google. But now that Google put out the zoo, you know, people got to work. People got to go back and roll up their sleeves and get in there because it's very, it's getting, there'll always be a gamut. There'll always be a way to manipulate the system. That's not going to disappear. It's just everyone's not going to have access to the manipulation process. So the sooner that you realize that you need to go out there and get into the real work of being successful, and realize it's gonna take some time, it's gonna take some effort, it's gonna take some sweat and tears, the sooner that you will realize success. That's the faster way to success. Now, what I'm gonna do, for those of you who made it to the end of the video, because for people who make it to the end of the video, there's gonna be a number up here. And what I want you to do, if you're interested in video, in video marketing, now I'm gonna give you some qualifications. One, you need to build a channel to start practicing even if you don't have a product to sell putting up videos putting the videos together learning how to edit and stuff a lot of people say hey you don't have to do video you can outsource it you can find someone to do it for you it's true you can do that you can find someone to do that for you but if you learn the basics yourself when you have that conversation with your resource who's gonna do it, it's gonna be a more intelligent conversation versus I want this and I want that and I want this. But if you go ahead and you learn how to do this stuff, because I'm gonna I'm putting together what I call private client training. This is not the group thing works for certain things, but for private client training, I want you to call a number and you know just title your message. I want to learn more about in video marketing and just explain what you're trying to do 
say what you want to accomplish, what are your goals, put that stuff in, and I'll call you back because this is the thing. There's a different number under the video. Don't put this in the comments. This number is for folks who are really serious because this video is probably 20 some 30 minutes long and you folks are different. So call that number, we'll set up an appointment or you'll get a text with the calendar and you can put yourself on it and we can have that discussion. Now, let's be clear. You're going to have to spend some money. That's just the reality of it. You will have to spend some money. You will need to invest in equipment. This is not a two week deal. This is not a three week deal. I'm doing my first mini boot camp just to kind of touch on some deeper issues that other folks don't talk about. But this is going to be very, very different than a lot of online training because it's going to be real world right now in your face training what I do to make money training. And you're gonna see that the channel is about to make a leap in quality, it's gonna make a leap in technology, it's gonna make a leap in presentation. And these are the things that will be timeless. So go ahead, make that phone call, and uh, I will talk to you later. See you in the next episode.